Hello, my name is Anu Mofsisyan and I'm a PhD candidate in Public Health Sciences at the UC Davis Department of Public Health Sciences in the School of Medicine. This is my presentation on the construction and evaluation of the Armenian surname list. This is the order I will follow in my presentation today. Introduction and background, construction of the Armenian surname list, evaluation of the Armenian surname list, and discussion. U.S. Census race and ethnicity categories provide critical information that is needed to study health disparities in the United States and in each of the states individually. These categories have lacked details to capture existing health disparities affecting specific race and ethnic uh, communities, including Armenian Americans in the United States and specifically in California for this project. A common surname list is often used to identify and study various ethnic groups for that reason. Armenians have been in the United States for hundreds of years, with the first Armenian recorded to be in the U.S. in 1618. Currently, the estimated population in the United States is from half a million to about 1.2 million. However, this is an underestimate due to the U.S. Census categories. Most Armenians in the United States live in California. Armenians generally follow a collectivist culture. They are community and family oriented even in the diaspora. Some health behaviors include high rates of cigarette smoking among men and high rates of cholesterol have been observed among women. Existing research among Armenians focuses on genetic structures, type 2 diabetes, and PTSD. California is home to the largest population of Armenians in the United States with at least 250,000 Armenians. Armenians have been classified as white in the U.S. Census, so this is an underestimate. Previous studies have shown that Armenian ethnicity was an independent risk factor for some health outcomes, such as cardiovascular disease. This project is the first to create an Armenian surname list for epidemiological and public health research purposes. Now I will show the steps of the construction of the Armenian surname list. We link the California public use death file with the Armenian surnames from the Middle Eastern surname list that was created in 2007. After manually reviewing the linkage results, there were 1,290 matches that were added to the Armenian surname list. An additional 1,860 surnames were identified by birthplace in Armenia from the California public use death files. Finally, there were 278 surnames from the Armenian surnames uh, from the Middle Eastern surname list that were not identified in a linkage or by birthplace, and these were also added to the surname list, making a total of 3,428 surnames in the Armenian surname list. Now, I will explain the evaluation of the Armenian surname list. This figure shows the overlapping surnames between the Armenian surname list, the California Cancer Registry birthplace in Armenia list, and list of Middle Eastern surname lists from the CCR, or the California Cancer Registry. We used the California Cancer Registry database and chose names with birthplace in Armenia because we wanted to compare the effectiveness of the Armenian surname list on a large database. At this step, we were not looking at cancer rates. We were only comparing how the Armenian surname list identified surnames in the CCR that had a birthplace in Armenia. Out of 921 surnames, the Armenian surname list identified 33% additional surnames on the California Cancer Registry birthplace in Armenia list compared to the Middle Eastern surname list. We then use a name checking software called NAMSOR to check the country of origin of the surnames in the Armenian surname list and the California Cancer Registry birthplace in Armenia list. And this figure shows the top, top five country of origin results. As you can see, Armenia is ranked first with 68.5% of Armenia being the country of origin listed first uh, for the surnames in the Armenian surname list. Now let's discuss the implications of our findings. 
To our knowledge, this is the first study to create and evaluate an Armenian surname list for research purposes. Some implications include the ability to tailor health interventions specific to Armenian Americans, and to understand cultural barriers to health behaviors such as screening, investigate the effects of various genetic and sociocultural factors on, on health outcomes, to design culturally appropriate prevention methods, and to provide new health-related educational materials in Armenian languages and languages commonly spoken among Armenians. Some strengths of our study were that we used a comprehensive data source dating back to 1905. This was a new research topic and implications are significant for both Armenian Americans in the United States and California and other groups. Limitations included limited literature to replicate previous findings because the study was so new, and findings may not be generalizable to other Armenian communities in the United States because we used California data only. Thank you very much for listening and please feel free to email me if you have any questions. Thank you.